Pets are finally useful. It's been a long time since we had pets added to Grounded, but they haven't ever really felt like something necessary, mainly because they die too easily and the time it takes to get a bunch of them, it just doesn't give you enough of a buff. Well, that's been changing. Ever since they've been implemented, they've had a few stages where nothing's been happening, and then a few recent updates, they've buffed them and give them some extra bonuses. But the addition of the Nat pet has really made pets finally worthwhile. So here's why you should absolutely get yourself a pet. It doesn't have to be the Nat, it could be any pet, but they are absolutely great now. So with the addition of the Nat pet, you are going to need a grinder and you're going to need to make the spoiled meat slurry by basically grinding down spoiled meat. And just like it is with all the other pets, you simply drop the bowls of the stuff, i.e. the spoiled meat slurry here, and the Nats will come over to it and then hopefully one of them will start munching on it. You then have to pretty much leave the area for a little bit, just step away and hopefully there should be a symbol that pops up telling you when it's ready to be petted. It's still a little bit hit and miss and a bit fiddly, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but when you see the prompt for pet, go ahead and hold the X button and you should have your gnat. There's still no changes made to whether or not you can actually stack pets or stack the buffs, so you only get one buff at a time and one pet at a time, so you will have to build some of the pet houses if you want to swap over what pet you've got. There are some fundamental changes though in the last update, the home stretch update. Basically, happiness doesn't really matter for anything in terms of the pet leaving you. It will have some sort of effect in the future. I'm guessing if the pet is happy, it will keep the buff for you. And if it's not happy, then maybe you won't get the buff. The buff for the gnat pet is that you'll get longer airtime while using a tuft. You can see from the latest patch notes as well for this update that pet equipment now gives your pet substantial defensive upgrades, a 200 bonus max HP, you also get bonus DT, bonus DR based on the tier of equipment. Now it looks like that's based on your equipment, so if you're wearing better armour then your pet is going to be more protected. There's still no way to really call your pet if it's somehow got lost. That seems to be a bit of a problem at the moment. The pets do get stuck on stuff and they may take absolute ages to get back to you. But eventually they do make their way back to your location. Or if you put a pet house down, you can insert it in the house and yeah, that's when it will come over. So not really still answering why they're more useful now. Well, it's the big inventory change. You can access their inventory from anywhere on the map now. You don't have to actually have them close by and you will be able to access it properly and hold up to 10 more items. For players that have been complaining for a long time now that Grounded doesn't have enough space, this is phenomenal. All you have to do is go over to the little pet icon and then you'll be able to access its inventory. The one thing it still needs probably to help pets even better is some ability to tell it to wait in a specific location, not just at the house, so that when you go and do a dungeon, it will wait outside. Now most of the time they don't follow you completely, so if you jump into the water, it's not going to follow you in there, and they won't die anymore if they do slip under the water. That was something that had happened with the introduction of gnats in this update. But they've quickly changed and fixed that. But yeah, it'd still be good if you could tell it just to wait in a certain location and you know that you can keep on transferring stuff to it even while you're clearing out somewhere. I'm sure there will be more iterations of the pets and I'm sure we'll find out exactly what happens if they're not happy or unhappy. And I am predicting that we're going to get more gear, maybe cosmetic items that will give them bonuses or buffs in the future as well. But that's the idea. Nats now will make you go a bit longer on your tuft. Weevil still give you the ability to not have to drink as much and aphid to help improve your stamina sprint status. With the introduction of custom games of course you can now make sure that your gnat or pet will never die and that's obviously a big bonus. And yes you can change your normal game if it wasn't custom into a custom game now with this update. You do of course get a nice new gravestone if your pet gnat dies to go with the others. And if your pet dies, then you'll simply be able to pick up the gravestone and you'll get all of the inventory items with inside that pet. So you don't have to worry about losing anything. Now the pet gnats do fly quite high, so it can be sometimes hard to pet them, but you should be able to get them eventually. But otherwise, yeah, I think these pets are great now. The pet gnat could be one of the better ones since it is a bit harder to kill compared to some of the others. And as long as you can keep it alive, that extra bonus inventory and some of them extra little bonuses can really come in handy. So that is the brand new pet nut and the state of pets in August 2022, just before Grounded comes out in full release. F in chat for spicy.